Okay, before y'all come with the bullshit on my goddamn channel, I ain't got time for this. I'm gonna go ahead and put this disclaimer in the front of the video. Okay, I saw the full video. I, I want people to understand. Okay, I, I want people to understand the point of the video. Regardless of the self-defense part, I saw the full video. Yes, Langley did hit him first. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> care bro like at this point we fighting like to me I don't know I don't know I guess I just see self defense as like I hit people first so I, I... it's me y'all definitely know I'm choosing violence come on now I can't because it, it's a threat like if I feel like you even get loud with me if you close with me then I gotta protect myself because that's just how it is. I'm not finna fucking explain myself. Anyway, the point of the video is to display the fact that the media, okay, the point is the media versus the black man. The post that was on Instagram as well as the video that we saw does not show the airline worker hitting the black man, okay? It goes straight into him hitting him after the fact. Because what they want to portray, y'all gotta wake up. What they want to portray is that literally this black man just... Also, not to mention the news video never showed the worker actually putting his hands on the black guy. Like, literally, are we serious? <sighs> start hauling ass off on this white dude in the beginning that's the beginning of the video if you're gonna post the video post the whole video don't start it at the point where the black guy is hauling off on the white dude because the video that was sent to me and i don't know what his race was nor do i give a fuck me had the white dude hitting the black guy so you see the comparison of the videos because the video is all over youtube people are like the full video here it is blah 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 i don't care bro the point that i am trying to make because i know somebody gonna hop in my comments on some bullshit and you gonna get ignored <laughs> you gonna get ignored I'm telling you right now the point of the matter is the media and the way that we are portrayed in the media we learned this with Sha'Carri Richardson like <laughs> that's it just just watch the video I made my point whatever if you don't agree with it that's on you your opinion is your opinion my opinion is my opinion they like assholes everybody got one cue the video okay Hey y'all, um, how y'all doing? <laughs> Listen, as y'all can see in the title, y'all already know what this gonna be about. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of this shit. Y'all already know. I don't like shit like this. So I def first of all, I don't watch the news. Let's let's get this straight. I do not watch the news. My heart can't take it. It's just, it's devastating. I, I have not been on social media a lot lately because it's just overwhelming. I'm already dealing with a whole bunch of personal stuff, trying to get my aura back. And I just, I, I be having to check out sometimes. But uh, Brooklyn, one of my loyal subscribers and love gang cousins, uh, Christian and my mama, usually keep me up to date on what's going on. Um... So, shout out to Brooklyn for sending me this video, the real video, amongst other videos that I'll be reacting to. That's my dog. Um, so, apparently, the media doesn't fuck with us for real. Like, this isn't news or anything, but I I'm just, I'm taking aback. Like, <laughs> like I'm, I'm so mad. I'm so mad. Like... How do you just cut the beginning of a fucking video? Like, you know what? I'm going to try not to make this too long. I really am. But y'all know how I get with situations like this. 
and I, I get passionate, I get to yelling, I get to fussing, but I'm I'm gonna try to keep my composure. No, I'm not. Girl, you lying. We gonna look at the news video versus the real video that Brooklyn sent me. So um, let's first play the news video. We are gonna play that one first. This is the, the video that's on ABC 13 Houston. I'm ashamed. Um, and this is what they posted on social media. This is what they have on their website. And I think I looked at a couple other, a couple, a few of the other news. Um, goddamn, I can't even think about it. I'm. It's eleven o'clock at night. The a few of the other news pages didn't cover it, um, which I understand why the attention is definitely on Rob Elementary as it should be. My condolences to them babies. I I, I can't even. I can't even speak on that. <laughs> I, I can't even speak on that. My heart is, yeah, I can't. I, I'm going to start crying again. So we're going to look at this bullshit, okay? So let's, let's look at the news video first. A wild scene playing out at the ticket counter at Newark Liberty Airport. A professional football player and an airline employee coming to blows. Now both face the fallout from the fight. ABC's Gio Benitez has more. United Airlines firing this wheelchair so attendant at Newark Airport after this viral video through. shows former NFL player Brandon Langley yes. and the employee in a violent brawl. Sources telling ABC News it all started when that employee asked for a wheelchair that Langley was oh, using to carry his luggage. The situation quickly escalating, Langley eventually Ooh, knocking the employee wait. out, but the agent getting back up to continue the fight. United telling ABC News. Okay, pause, pause. Is it me or the way they chopped that up? Literally. All you see is the black dude hauling off on the worker's ass. That's all you see. That's all they want people to see. No, 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 no. Fuck that. It has fired the employee oh, after wow. investigating the incident and reviewing video from a bystander. Langley briefly played for the Denver Broncos. This morning, he's charged with <laughs> simple assault. One thing that I know about Brendan, uh, he's one of the hardest working guys I've ever met. Um, he doesn't. You know, he's not, he's, not a, he's not a very malicious, mean person. And, um, you know, I don't know much about the situation, so I, I can't really speak on everything, but I, I just want him to be safe. I love him, and I hope everything works out in the end. This comes as nearly 2.5 million Americans are set to fly each day over the Memorial Day weekend. The FAA saying unruly passenger numbers continue to fall, but still more than 1,300 incidents were already reported this year. And ABC News has learned that Langley is back in Canada where he plays professional football. His team says it's looking into the matter to learn all of it. You know what? <laughs> I laugh. Y'all know I laugh to keep my anger levels down. Bruh. Bruh. Are you fucking kidding me right now? So, y'all just completely did not put the whole video up. Y'all just said, fuck it, scrap the beginning. Where the employee clearly hit him first, as we will see in the next video. Y'all just said, fuck it. Because what y'all wanted to do, what the mission was, was to display a black man beating up. A, I, I can't tell if he's white or not, but I'm pretty sure he, he don't look like no minority to me. If he is, it don't matter. Y'all wanted to literally display this man as a goddamn animal because that's what y'all think we are. He a black man, he a football player. Y'all really wanted to make him look like he just beat the shit out of a fucking United Airlines worker for no goddamn reason. Over a goddamn wheelchair? Over a wheelchair he was carrying luggage in? Who gives a fuck? So, you know what? Now we're going we gonna to play the real video. We're going to play the real video before, before I get into the issue at hand. Or more into the issue at hand. Hmm. Bye. Who hit first? Who hit first? Fuck. 
fuck that nigga shit up. Fuck his shit up. But did we see that hit on the news video? Or, because last time I checked, we didn't. Like, it doesn't matter who hit first. They didn't show that part on the news video. And so you are coming back. You want some more? Because you coming back. Y'all just seen that video, right? What do I always say in all my videos? If you put your hands on somebody, please expect to get hit the fuck back. I say that in every video that I do like this. It's called self-defense. See, had, had the news played the whole video, had the investigators, y'all just want to cut that part out. Everybody wants to cut that part out. Y'all charging this man with assault. But he got hit first? What? What? Somebody make it make sense to me. I, I, don't, I don't understand. Make it make sense. Why is this? You got people on YouTube posting the video and it's a full video. Because nobody, nobody in the media wants to post the full video. So the worker got fired, but Langley got charged with assault. What? See, this is just like cops killing black people. They get administrative leave or they might get death duty, but then you got a life lost. I, I don't understand. I don't understand what is happening in the world today. What, what is happening in the world today? Okay, this is my last voiceover, and I'm done with the shit. I just feel like justice should be equal, okay? Trust me, from experience, justice should be equal. Because when it was my situation, justice was equal. It's already so much going on. And then you got this shit? Really? This is what the fuck y'all do to us? Why am I not? I'm not surprised. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not surprised. I'm... I'm not surprised, but it pisses me off every fucking time. And I have to say something. Now, mind you, this is a week old. Because, again, I don't watch the news. So, I, I see it when Brooklyn sent it to me or when somebody sent it to me. So, I'm a week late, but I don't give a fuck. I'm saying what I got to say. That's I mean, flipped his motherfucking ass. <laughs> <laughs> I had to take a moment and laugh because, <laughs> baby, he was finna be uh, on the plane with the luggage on that conveyor belt. Do you understand me? Mm hmm. He flipped him across that goddamn thing. You got me fucked up is what you got me. You put your hands on me? Oh, nigga. And then you coming back for some more? So you didn't learn your lesson the first time. And he held himself because he could have easily continued to put his hands on the airline worker when he came back. Like he said, you coming back for some more? He could have easily continued. But he stopped. And I don't know what the fuck the lady was doing with her hand up. What the fuck? What are you doing? Go back to your desk. <laughs> like, go back to your desk. And the other guy wasn't breaking up shit. Like, who the fuck is training y'all over a goddamn wheelchair? So, because you didn't want him carrying his luggage in the wheelchair, because he didn't want to pay for the luggage cart, backstory is what I heard, you, you got mad enough that his luggage was in a wheelchair and hit him? So you didn't think to call a supervisor? You asked him, he said no. Why the, why the whole video ain't posted? Why the whole video ain't posted? Why is he not charged with assault? 
why why is it being reported the captions on these goddamn videos y'all so busy focused on the goddamn employee getting fired y'all are missing the fact that this is some fuck shit y'all are missing the point y'all already cut the fucking video and when they reported the shit even the wording of it was fucked up I'm so sick of this bullshit. I, I'm sick of this bullshit. I really, I, I'm so sick of it. And it, it's gonna, I it's gonna keep happening, and I hate it. But as long as it keep happening, I'm gonna keep fucking saying something. Brooklyn knew better when he sent me this shit. <laughs> he be knowing what to send me, cause he know I'm gonna go off. The ghetto. If y'all can hear that, y'all know I live in the hood. Ain't nothing changed. I just, you know what? I'm, I'm sick of the meat. This is why I don't watch the news. This is why I try to stay away from social media. For the most part, I, I can't, I can't do it. It's my heart. It's especially now. I don't know what happened after the gala. I just, me and social media just don't, don't click no more. I get on, I might post something, I, then I get off. I, I, I just can't. I can't take it. I, I'm trying to get my own life together. <laughs> I, I need a break. I need a break. I check my messages, and that's just pretty much it. And I barely do that. I just start doing that. That's all I got to say. I Because I can be on here all night just going off, and I'm not going to do that. I just feel like I had to say what needed to be said. That's fucked up. ABC 13 Houston, y'all fucked up for that. That shit was wrong. Period. Oh mamas, y'all need to take that bullshit down. I'm done. Until the next video, I will see y'all in the next one. I got some more stuff coming. I'm trying to record more. I'm trying to post more. I miss y'all so much. Thank y'all for holding it down, for riding with me, to watching the videos. We got to get these hours up. <laughs> we got to get these hours up and these views up, baby. So tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all of that. All of that. Okay? Love y'all. Bye.